Hello, my name is Tine. In this video I will blacking steel, from that to that, in just a few minutes. When I make some tool I like to protect them with black. It's really thin protection from dry rust, it's not protection for outside like paint or any electroplating process. There are a few different processes to get the same result. Most common is hot blacking using temperature and oil, and the other is cold blacking with using special solution. So far I only blacking with heating and oil, but now I got special blacking solution from UK store Kronos. They sell this blacking solution in three different packaging. They also sell other kits from anodizing aluminium, zinc plating, nickel plating and so on. And of course they got lot of tools for lathe, mills and other stuff. Let's check what we got in the box. It's definitely one of most protected package I got so far. But it's logical, there are acid inside and nobody wants damage on the package. There are a lot of protection material in the box. The final box is wrapped once again with lot of bubbles. When we get rid of all the bubbles we get plastic container and in here should be everything we need to blacken steel. Plastic container seal very well so there are no way to come out something. In here is once again protected bot with solution, protective equipment, manual and towel. Ok, here I got two pieces of steel so let's try to black them. Manual say, protection equipment. So firstly apply respirator, protect your glasses and gloves. Plastic bucket serves as working container, but I don't dirt them for these few small pieces. So I pour a bit of solution into small acid tray. But what's in here? What ingredients make such a nice color? This. Before we put steel into blackening solution parts need to be clean, so there's no traces of grease, oil, rust or any other dirt to get the best result. But I want to try the difference, so that piece got one part of surface freshly milled and the other part is covered with protection grease and there's also a bit of rust. When we drop the part in solution we can see that it starts changing color next seconds. After 5 to 10 seconds it's almost black, but every fingerprint and other fails are visible. But after a minute or two it become completely black, doesn't matter if there are any fingerprints, grease or rust. After about 5 minutes I turn the parts around, so they are evenly blacked all around. After about 10 minutes of dipping, just take out the parts and wipe them. I really like because the solution is very liquid, just like water, so it wipe and dry very easily. And that's the result. On that row piece of steel is still protective oil. We can see that where the part is black and it doesn't shine anymore. The other part is a bit milled, oiled and rusted. On the milled area we got very nice evenly blacked surface. On the oiled part from the side, it's a bit more shiny and the black isn't that deep and the rust is still there, just a bit less visible. When the parts are blackened we need to protect them with the watering coil. I just apply a bit of flaxseed oil on the towel and wipe the pieces, to get a very thin layer of oil. Here you can see the difference with or without oil coating, next day when the oil is completely dry. I just make a test so you don't need to, and leave the pieces into solution overnight. The result was bad, very bad. Now I will blacken these homemade parallels, but firstly I will clean them to get nice surface all around. Pieces are now brushed all around, but before I put them into solution I wipe them with alcohol to get off all the dirt. After 10 minutes the pieces become black and we can see also the solution become darker. I want to lift pieces from container button, so I use two plastic stick under. But that was mistake, traces are much more visible like if you drop pieces direct to button. So I turn pieces around and leave them for 10 more minutes. After about 20 minutes the solution become completely black, so I take pieces out and wipe them. Firstly I wipe them just to dry, and then wipe it again more hardly to get off all the excess black. And of course for the end coat the pieces with oil and wipe them again, so we got nice smooth and dry surface. Here in the video just can be seen how cool black color is, but I can tell you it's more black than it look, and also the surface is amazing to touch. 
I'm really happy with the result. Surface is nice and evenly blacked. And if we compare with the original black clay tool we can see the same, if not better result. I don't want to mix used solution with a new one, so I put it into a jar. But overnight all the dirt fall on the bottom and the solution was clean again. I think I forgot how blackening now, because cold process look better, it smell much less, it's much faster and easier than hot blackening, especially if you got a bigger pieces and no heating oven. That's it for today, thanks for watching, like, share and subscribe if you like and see you next time.